Good morning, friends. How's everybody doing today? Um, so, my motivational quote that I want to give you today is, uh, it was from Confucius. He said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, both are normally right. Which means if you believe you can do something, you'll do it. If you believe that you can't do something, you're not going to do it. So, I just wanted to, uh, to start the day off with a little bit of motivation, right? And also, yes, I listen to jazz music. <laughs> Also, I'm gonna have an interview with one of with this a really cool guy. He used to be a drug addict, changed his life completely around. I, I don't know how long the, the, his like transformation took, but he used to. It, it will inspire you because it inspires me every time I see him in the gym. I'm like, that is phenomenal still, because he was in a bad, really bad place. So I hope you guys enjoy and stick around for that. And uh, yeah. We're gonna get this day started. I think I'm hitting chest and shoulders today. As you guys can tell, I'm very, I'm still like under the weather. I still have the sniffles. My voice is a little meh, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. So let's get it started. This is the guy I was telling you about earlier. Um, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Me and him and buddies. I don't know, since what, like when? When did you graduate? 2010. 2010. So it had to have been my sophomore year because that's when you first went to the high school. Yep. So yeah. So at least over 10 years, really. <laughs> like, yeah, it's <laughs> been a while, bro. That's crazy. But I'm gonna let him tell his story. I'm just here for the camera work. <laughs> so take right it away, brother. Uh, my name is Brandon Sims. Uh, I'm from Lancaster. I uh, grew up here and everything. Um, gra like like Jay said, I graduated 2010. Uh, started getting wrapped up in, in all the wrong things, man. And one thing led to another. I uh, ended up a, a junkie, basically a heroin addict. Um, uh, had nowhere to turn. Had nothing going for me. Um, and I was I was a heroin addict for about five years. Uh, uh, April 2016, I went into this program called Outreach Ministries. <laughs> there we go. And uh, it completely changed my life. Uh, I developed a relationship with Christ. Um, it completely changed me as a person. I've seen other guys just walk this thing out, and uh, uh, some of them have failed, and some are really successful uh, because uh, Jesus sustains them. Um, at that same time, I was I was like I think I got up to like 300, 310, 315 pounds. Jeez. And uh, I was miserable, man, miserable. And this was this was after I got sober. And uh, one day last year, I saw a picture of myself, and I was just disgusted. And I was like, you know what? Something's got to give. I'm unhealthy. I'm unhappy. Still unhappy. Um, and I just started on this journey. Uh, it's been a year-long journey. And I've lost, to date, I've lost about 100 pounds, just over 100 pounds. Jeez. Listen, if you guys are on the other side of the camera, give this man a round of applause. Yeah. That is phenomenal. Yeah. Change your life completely, completely around. Completely. Not even a question. So, I, I mean, I have questions too. So like when you were doing drugs and stuff, did you think about anybody else other than yourself? Or did you like just try to get away from the pain? Cause I know a lot of people are, are different. You know what I mean? Some people try to get away from pain. Some people are like, yeah. I'm just doing this for fun. And then mm -hmm. it turns into a bad habit. Yeah. So what was your mind state? If, if you don't mind me asking for No, that's that. fine, man. Uh, I just we wanna, wanna, we wanna educate people. Of course. Um, I, I think that uh, I did it out of, I, I didn't know what my purpose was, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I was bored. Um, 
I think at first, you know, being around friends who smoke weed and drank and stuff, it, it was it was fun. Um, but eventually, I mean, heroin, it, it doesn't, it's not fun anymore. Yeah. Um, I would assume not. I've never done it. Yeah. But I would assume not. It, I've had uh, friends who passed away. You remember Nathan Hutton, right? Yeah. Yeah, this was one of my best friends as a yeah. kid. Was three weeks away from going to the Marines. And uh, ended up getting a bad batch, a bad hit. I don't yeah. know what it is, but... Um, of, sad, of heroin. I knew, and, this, and I knew away. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I've literally known them since I was, since I moved here and play, started playing baseball, so probably around 10 years old. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I've known his family for over almost two decades now. Wow. <laughs> it's it's sad, man. Uh, but th there is hope. There is people who are out there doing it, getting it done, um, staying sober, staying on the right track, mm -hmm. helping people change their lives. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's awful. Um, you know, to especially see families who have never even done drugs be affected by heroin and uh, the opiate epidemic um, just as bad as somebody who's using it. Oh, yeah. So yeah. one of the things, one of the reasons why I wanted to have him come on here and show you guys is the fact that, like, first of all, you're not alone. If you are in that situation um, with drugs or and or alcohol or you want to get something with an addiction, right? Like mm -hmm. people are addicted to food, junk food, stuff like that. Absolutely. You're not alone. Somebody else is probably dealing with the same exact situation that you are, the same exact like will that they want to get done, but they don't know what, how to get it done. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So always, if you want to, if you want to get help with something, just reach out. You know what I mean? Like depression, people, a lot of people suffer from depression. Mm -hmm. Reach out for somebody. You know what I mean? Like. Talking to somebody will change their life more than you even know. You know what I mean? Like, another reason is why is because the gym helped this guy out. Like, absolutely. He, he, I see him every single day. I mean, I don't, I haven't came every day, but every day that I'm here, he's here. <laughs> so, like, if there's, a, if you just find like a little, a different niche, a different thing to stimulate your mind instead of drugs or alcohol or cigarettes, even or anything like that, find that little thing. Get yourself on a healthy track, and then you'll be able to see your life grow exponentially. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you can attest to that. Like yeah, man. going from 300 pounds to 200 pounds. Yeah. Is a huge difference. Imagine, um, like, imagine putting a, a bag of sand, a hundred pound bag of huh. sand, just carrying around with you all day. It's crazy. I mean, I'm the same way. I need to lose weight now. I've, I lost weight a lot. I lost a lot of weight in the uh in the past and gained a lot because of my injuries and, and me just being stupid but um like imagine imagine how much even like even 20 pounds a 20 yeah. pound vest when I've, you're wearing I've, it. Put, I've put on a 50 pound vest it since sucks. i've lost all the weight and it was <laughs> it was nuts it was nuts man i i couldn't believe it oh, yeah. double that oh 100 that, that's what i was carrying around that's, it's 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 crazy to me especially now that i've i lost weight and then and then gained it back um, I'm still like athletic, I'm still whatever, but at the same time, obviously, I'm not as as fit as I was. Um, I'm just as strong as I was, though. <laughs> but, like, just changing, if you just change little things in your diet, I mean, not having soda, right? Oh, yeah, dude. Not having soda, that's yep. 100 calories every time, or is it 100 calories? Something like that. It's around 100 calories. About 100, 100 calories, 100, 150, but... 150, something like that. Yeah, but you gotta think of, like, the sugar that makes you break out all the time. Just little things like that. You just change one little thing, drink more water. Um, instead of having like a burger, have a salad. You can even get the burger stuff with the salad. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you can get yep. everything instead without fries, the bun. Get a salad. Instead of fries, get a salad. Yep. Just changing little things will change your entire life. And like even I've noticed that since I've been able to start working out again, um, this time I've lost like 10 pounds just in the last like week or so. You know what I mean? So. Um, I mean, I'm definitely gonna keep the grind. This guy motivates me every single day. I see him working hard every single day, and I love Thanks, it. Um, but yeah, I definitely just wanted to have him on here. Sh tell everybody it. his story. This bug is. <laughs> I know he just keeps <laughs> he's just doing dance. freaking out. But yeah, I just wanted to. If you guys want, follow him. Link your Instagram uh, or your, your whatever you use. I don't even know what my Instagram is. I'm on <laughs> Facebook, Brandon Sims. Um, it's got a picture of me. Up um, at the gym, gym at selfies. At the gym, yeah, in the locker room. Do you um, use your Instagram? Any, I, I, I think I do. I just don't know the name of it. I got you. That's crazy. Um, I be telling my stuff all the time. 
But uh, if you if you guys know anybody that needs help, or you you have family members that uh, you know need help, or just want some more information, um, you can also follow Outreach Ministries on Facebook. Uh, it's a great program, life changing. Um, get you on the right track, or you can hit me up, message me, whatever you got to do. I'll be more than willing to help or share information with you. And same with me. I mean, you guys all know if I I will never like decline anybody if you have a question or you want to talk to somebody i will give you my phone number right now i don't care you know what i mean like you can call me do whatever because i would rather help somebody like that's like my entire goal even with this channel my entire goal is to just help somebody yeah to be able to like put my best foot forward and if i have information or can help you motivate you do something that's what i want to do because at the end of the day, like I want to make somebody better with my life. So that's 100%. And I'll link all the stuff in the uh, description box below, like Outreach Ministries. I'll link Absolutely. his Instagram because he's dumb awesome. and doesn't know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll link all that stuff. So I just wanted to bring you guys that. And uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Probably sleeping because it's my day. I got to go to work, <laughs> get a shower, go to work. <laughs> uh, do it all, man. But awesome, man. Awesome. I'm glad I, I could have you, you on the channel. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I mean, you'll see more of him. We go to the same gym, work out at the definitely. same time. So we'll get, I'll get a workout in with this big oaf. Right on. <laughs> All right, bro. Thanks, man. All right, guys, I am back home. So one of the, one of the great feelings of coming home is that uh, these little munchkins, munchkins, this little munchkin, they always love you. <laughs> If you don't have any, if you don't have dogs, you need to get them because they are they are fun to be around. But I am actually gonna take a nap because it's my day off, and I can do that. So I will see you guys when I wake up. All right, guys. So uh, my plans actually kind of got nixed for the day. The uh, I got called into into work for a couple things, but to get a couple deals, hopefully. So. <clears throat> I'm just gonna end it right here, man. Brandon is an awesome person. I'm linking all his stuff in the uh, description box and all that. Go give him a follow. He, like I said, he's an awesome dude. Um, his transformation story is amazing. Going from uh, drugs and living that type of life to now he's on a healthy lifestyle. It's amazing. Um, I can't even express how much love like you guys should go show him. So um, I appreciate. I hope you guys like the video. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still a little sick. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you did, leave it a thumbs up, comment. Make sure you go go follow his uh, his Instagram and his Facebook and stuff. You guys will absolutely love the kid. I'm not, I can't say it enough. So uh, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and hopefully, I can see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Peace.